Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd appreciate it as a personal favor, and then I'd be able to deliver watches like this to your inbox as soon as tomorrow morning. Updated daily, Watchbox Reviews. And if you like the watch, well, you can buy it. Take it home as early as tomorrow morning on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing my favorite kind of Audemars Piguet, a complication that's not a Royal Oak or an Offshore. It's the AP Jules Audemars Arnold's All-Star Limited Edition Reference 26094 BC, a white gold perpetual calendar chronograph automatic winding 43 millimeters in diameter. And you can see this oversized dress complication from Audemars Piguet fits well on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. The lug to lug span is manageable. At 50.8 millimeters, it's right about where I believe the upper limit for a smaller male wrist is. Lug to lug, you want to be 50 millimeters or fewer if you have a wrist between 14 and 16 and a half centimeters circumference, which I, with my endless caprice, judged to be a smaller male wrist. Now, the timepiece does fit well because the lugs are tightly downturned, short cropped, and curved. The thickness of the case is quite manageable. All things considered, 13.5 millimeters with a sloped case flank and a conical bezel means it will slide underneath the dress cuff and not just a suit jacket sleeve, but the shirt beneath. The timepiece has a broad lug spacing, giving it an impressive stance on the wrist and security against torquing and twisting. 22 millimeters is the lug spacing, so you'll find that this 43 millimeter juggernaut in white gold does sit securely, and it has a bit of a juggernaut of a strap. Broad, as I mentioned, you'll note it's a handsome combination of black large rectangular scale alligator leather and a contrasting navy blue stitch that perfectly matches the details of the dial. You can see a sheer side, robustly bolstered, it nicely matches the flare and swell of the lugs before thinning out as it approaches the underside of the wrist. Large rectangular scale, semi-gloss black on top, calf skin on the underside. You'll note that the strap can be pulled down unconstrained because of the semi-curved spring bar, which both creates a more integrated look with less daylight between case and strap, and also allows the strap attachment points, the lugs, to be drilled close to the case. With the semi-curved bar, you can pull that strap down and still have narrow pivot from side to side between the centers of the spring bars, and easy fit on a smaller wrist. Now, the clasp on this one is actually stainless steel. So the stainless steel matches the white metal of the watch. AP logo style, high polish. This is the kind of clasp you'll get on an offshore. It's quite secure. Despite being a friction fit piece, I find that's actually more suitable for a dress watch like this Jules Audemars than it is for something like an offshore, providing you peace of mind while donning or removing at bedside and insurance against droppage. Handsome case sculpting. You can see vertical satin grain on the flanks of the lugs, linear satin grain across the case band for contrast. There's a sharp cleft between the lugs and the case band that adds a great deal of definition to this watch while breaking up the mass of the metal. This could easily have been a bit of a mono-metallic monolith on your wrist. Uh, thankfully, because it's so deftly sculpted and provided with a number of contrasting finishes, it doesn't ever become just a lump on the wrist. It feels grand, and it looks just as sharp. You'll note that there's a polish to the bezel, both its flanks as well as its tops, polished to the lug hoods, even as their sides are satin finished. And though these look like screw-down chronograph pushers, they are not. They are actually shouldered chronograph pushers, giving you full access to the chronograph function at all times. Crown in a wonderfully unshouldered position that makes it easy to use. It is a push-down crown. This, for me, is a far better AP chronograph for all-around use than something like an offshore, because, quite frankly, this watch is more practical on a day-to-day -day basis. You have the chronograph when you need it, but let's face it, how often do we need a chronograph? What we do need, and what we rarely get from an offshore, is a calendar function. Oh sure, the offshore will give you a date, but when you're dating correspondence, memos, or letters, you're going to need a little bit more, and a perpetual calendar gives you that. You have everything going on here. As you'll note, you have the day, you have the day, you have the month, you have the leap year cycle indicator, you have a moon phase, and you have a wonderful array of different colors, tones, and textures. First, there is a tachymeter scale outboard. This is not a sports watch, but it is a sporty watch. The tachymeter, which is a beautiful 
I would say almost gray bronze color. Nicely jo joins the rim of the bezel with the plane of the dial. The track for the hours featuring a concentric circular grain satin silver metallic finish and the hour numerals themselves, they are stylized Romans, they are blued and it's a gorgeous color contrast against the silver base. The center dial with a fantastic spiral guilloche pattern and sunken registers for everything that this watch has got going on. So you have a wonderful cruciform symmetry about the sub-registers of the watch, a handsome and balanced design in every respect. Now you've got a bit more going on too. As this is the Arnold's All-Stars, let's get real close here, the Arnold's All-Stars limited edition, a 2007 series of 100 pieces. There was also a rose gold counterpart that's also featured on this channel if you check my back catalog. Arnold's After School All-Stars, essentially a program to encourage kids to participate in after school athletics, both to stay fit and avoid trouble that often comes when kids find themselves with too much spare time. So a good cause back in the day and it's, the namesake of a memorable watch. Now underneath that attractive dial and behind that gloriously engraved case back, if you are an Arnold fan, celebrate. If not, you know what? You don't see anything referring to the co-branding unless you turn the watch over. There is an Audemars Piguet compound caliber 2326 2839, in many respects similar to what you'll see on a Royal Oak Offshore in that it's a Chagere Le Coult automatic base married to a Dubois de Praz vertical clutch chronograph module, and of course there is the perpetual calendar added. Automatic winding with unidirectional action. This one also features ceramic rotor bearings. The caliber is very similar to what you would have seen on the last of the offshore rubber clads. The ceramic rotor bearings upping the winding efficiency alongside the unidirectional winding, which is more efficient than bidirectional. It does retain the JLC's underlying hacking seconds function, so you can precisely set this one if you wish. It has a vertical clutch system, so you can just leave the chronograph running with no additional wear or tear on the mechanism. Of course, it's a perpetual calendar. Of course, it's a chronograph, but it's also fairly tough as the JLC evolution of the 889, which became the 89X series, is also free sprung, giving it an additional measure of robustness against shock and vibration. Further, it has a laser welded hairspring at both the stud and the collet for further stability against shock. This is a watch that puts it all together. Only 20 meters water resistant. You're going to need an offshore if you want to get wet and wild. But for all other occasions, let's face it, the combination of a chronograph, the king of complications, and a perpetual calendar, the everyday complication, truly suits almost all purposes and designs. With a versatile, sporty dress watch shape, this is one you can throw on your wrist and enjoy as soon as tomorrow at the office. Throw it on, make it yours, enjoy it, and love it on the watch box.